Today is going to be a very short and quick video to explain this very interesting um, comparison that I want to bring about. Two protocols, similar kind of mechanism, but behave quite differently. So we have two protocols, Maker, MakerDAO, and Alchemix. So the reason why I want to compare them is because they are using stablecoin to create stablecoin. And you might be thinking, yeah, why do people do that? It makes sense if you're doing it in a different ecosystem. So on-chain versus off-chain, you're taking US dollars to create a crypto USD, or you're taking Bitcoin that exists on the Bitcoin chain, and you want to create red Bitcoin to create it and allow it to be used in the Ethereum chain. So that makes sense. But a stable coin in this ecosystem to create a stable coin in this ecosystem seems to be a bit strange, right? So I want to compare between them to show you the difference. And why do they do this? What's the purpose? What's the idea? What is the objective that differs both of these systems or both of these protocols? So if you know MakerDAO, what you can do with MakerDAO is to give USDC, stable coin, and you get DAI, stable coin. So this is Maker's mechanism. And it's Alchemix mechanism, you get you give them DAI and you get out LUSD. Also stable coin. Stable coin to get stable coin. Now, what is the difference? Because they're the same thing, right? Stable coins and stable coins in whatever the market is. If the market says DAI is worth 90 cents or DAI is worth 110 cents, doesn't matter, you can get back your, your USDC. They always value it one to one. Same here. If LUSD is $0.90 cents or $1.10, you can always get back DAI one-to-one. -one. So that's the, that's the idea. Now, what I want to share is that if, let's say, I have $2,000, of which I have 1,000 USDC, and I have 1,000 DAI, and I put them into these two protocols, how, do they, how would they perform? So let's take a two-year timeline. So in two years, how would they perform and how different would it be? So in Maker's situation, I give them 1,000 USDC and I can get out my DAI, right? But how much DAI do I get out? So I don't have to pay borrowing fees for this. I, I, no, I don't have to pay borrowing fees. I don't have to pay stability fees. So the borrowing fee is 0.1%. 0.1% of 1,000 USD is 1 USD, one USDC. So I get 999 DAI plus the fees of 1 USDC. So this is the mechanism. So this is something that Maker created. It's called the PSM, the Peg Stability Mechanism. In this mechanism, what it does is to allow users to withdraw the underlying at just this 0.1% fee and 0% stability. So the, the entire idea is that when DAI is fluctuating too much, you have USDC backing it. And so there are some comments from the community that, okay, DAI is not really decentralized. DAI is actually 50% backed by USDC. But that side, the whole idea of this is to provide stability to DAI just in case DAI prices fluctuate too much. You can always withdraw for the underlying. And the, the amount that you have to pay is 0.1%. So in this case, the fee is, so you lose $1. In, you lose $1 in the maker system. So what about Alchemix? So with Alchemix, let's clean this away. Again, in two years, Alchemix basically takes your collateral, your thousand DAI, and use it to generate yield. And right now, the yield is 5.244% APY. So let's say in two years' time, we are able to get back 394.4 LUSD. So this is the returns that we get. This returns that, that we're entitled to by putting our money into this ecosystem. And with this system, you basically put in USDC to get out DAI. In this system, you put in DAI to get out LUSD. Of the 1,000 DAI you put in, you get out 500 LUSD. So that means you're really owing the system $500. In this system, because you owe $500, which really makes sense because you still keep your 1000 but you have this $500 that you have to repay. So instead of repaying this, it uses this yield that you get, it uses this amount to repay that $500. So you minus 500 because you owe them, but you plus this 394.4, and you actually get back $105.60. So 
in this system, you can still get back your $1,000 because it's still in the system. And in the meantime, you earn $105.60. So in Maker, you lose $1. In Alchemix, you get back $105.60. Of course, the longer you put in, so maybe you put in for about one more year, you don't have to pay back anything. Because right now, it means that you still keep your 500 LUSD. And if you want to withdraw everything now, you have to pay back $105.60. You can pay back from the $500. Or if you put in for maybe three years, it gets all paid off. And you can keep that $1,000 plus $500. You keep that $1,500. So the long story is that look at this system. Both of them, same idea. You're taking stable coins to collateralize and create stable coins again. But the outcome in two years' time is very different. One of them, you owe $1. One of them, you get back over $100. What? Why? Why is it like that? Very simple because, as I mentioned earlier, Maker, Maker system uses this thing called pack stability mechanism. So this entire model is for the community to know that, you know, this value, this die that you have over here, it's stable. And everything you're doing is to help protect the stability of the token. You have to understand that stable coins, the whole idea of it being called stable coins, I think pack token would be a better word. But the whole idea that it's stable coin means that you need to focus a lot on how to maintain the stability. How do you create stability in this system? So this USDC to die mechanism is for stability. On the other hand, in Alchemix, it's not so much about LUSD. The whole point, it's about capital efficiency. So with 1,000 die, you can get 1,000 plus 500 dollars in total. And what it wants to do is to use that 1,000 die to be generating revenue so that at the end of two years, you get to keep both 1,000 your 1000 original amount and $500 that you kind of borrow or you get to get them today. That's why you get to have profits here. So one is on capital efficiency, one is on stability. Is anyone better than the other? That's not true. They just have different objectives. Different objectives, different mechanism, different models. But this is where it becomes very interesting. Now, you understand that DAI is stable because DAI is backed by USDC in this mechanism. So what you could do is that if you have USDC, if you go and put them in Aave or you put them in other like FTX, you put them in Compound, the returns are not very attractive. The returns are maybe 2%, 3%. So it's, it's relatively low. So if you have USDC, what can you do to increase the capital efficiency? You don't have to go too far. You just need these two mechanisms. You get USDC, turn them into DAI. You just have to pay $1 for it. Use the DAI, put it in Alchemix. You get $105.60. If you put it longer, you get even more. And then all you need to do is get this to minus this $1 fee that you're paying. And you actually net net, you're making money. So this is an example of DeFi Lego bricks because you get to stack them on top of the other. This is also the example of how a stable coin can have very similar mechanism, but because its objectives, its function, its ideas are different, you have a very different category of people. You have a very different category of use cases. There is no such thing as one better than the other. They just have different purposes, different objectives. So how can you stack them up together to give you the returns that you're looking for? So I'm saying this because I thought that it's interesting. And I feel like some of you guys are looking for this kind of content. It's not shilling at all. I just have like one of each just to play around the other time to understand how it works so I can make the video and teach you guys how it works. But no big holdings of all of them. I just wanted to show you and teach you that, you know, this is possible. So understanding the mechanism is very important. Understanding the fundamental so that you can stack them upon each other and then make sense of how can you better allocate your capital. All these different protocols, they have a purpose. They have different objectives. All the mechanisms are geared towards that. So you don't come to Alchemix saying that, oh, what can I do with LUSD? I might as well put my money somewhere else. Yes, go for it. Because the point is not about LUSD to take over DAI. No. LUSD is used for a different reason, that is used for a different reason. And I think that's why there can be more stable coins in the space, which there is already quite a, a bit, because each of them have, they have different purposes. So they can work together, they can work hand in hand, and they can allow us to have more alternatives, more options to use the different kind of protocols that suits our needs. So that's it. Hopefully that gives you some insights to why fundamental research is very interesting. It's very exciting because once you understand how things work, you can stack them up like a Lego bricks and you can start using them a lot more efficiently. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.